Most of us learn about Syria's devastation and destruction through daily news and Facebook posts. The headlines may conjure some sadness and sympathy, but to most people, Syria is a world away and they go about daily life largely unaffected. The photographs in this exhibit were taken nearly a decade ago when times were relatively peaceful. These images represent the way Syria was for hundreds of years, magnifying the severity of loss and helping us contextualize the anger, fear, and frustration felt by the displaced and persecuted. We are comfortably sitting back and watching the genocide of a people, a culture, a way of life, and one of the closest remaining connections we have to the apostles of Jesus Christ. Join us on April 27th for the exhibit closing in a Syrian Orthodox Easter concert to raise money for Christians still living inside Syria. At the beginning of the Syrian crisis, I started the, the APDC, St. Ephraim Patriarchal Development Committee, in order to help those who would like to stay home. We are not going to find anyone within the camps outside Syria. Mostly the Christians, they go to uh, their relatives or they will rent a home, uh, paying a lot of money to, to uh, that they cannot afford the money, or uh, they will stay in churches, monasteries, and so on. The land of Syria is not only a land of war, it's also a land of culture and people that would like to live and survive.